came up like we need to have a, a, an official recognition of TK Day. Yo, That's I really needed. appreciate like, that. This yeah, this is real. I mean, from NWA to Nelly to the Cash Money Rough Rider tour, like there hasn't been a stage that you haven't touched and left an impression. And that's so rare, and that's such a blessing, you know, to have a to have a comedian of your stature, especially around this time, man. Right, it's right, like, right. It's, and I'm looking for. I'm coming out tomorrow night, man. Yeah, tomorrow is going to be a, a, the way we move. Tomorrow is we we insult people because <laughs> in a rap concert you insult, yeah, you attack or they attack you. <laughs> so I attack, you attack, yeah. depending on the energy. Because so, a good comic when you walk into a room. You 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 read the room it's like a quarterback getting to the line of yeah. offense, and you see the defense, and you see what adjustments you have to make, and what you can do, and that's the same thing as I do as a stand up. Right. So when I walk into the room, I know exactly what to do, how to have fun, and because your job is to entertain. Yeah. People want to be entertained, whether you're talking about somebody, mm -hmm. but they want to laugh. And, and give an example on the Rough Rider tour, I had the people laughing so hard, mm -hmm. right? That right before Baby them came out, I right I was dropping hints throughout the whole show. I said, right. "Yo, we got a lot of people backstage. Mm -hmm. It's really gonna be off the chain, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. I'm telling you right now, everybody came out to hang out with me. <laughs> so as I got the people laughing, I made sure I was on stage a good thirty minutes, and they saw that I was talented. Mm -hmm. I would come back out, had the music ready, everything." And I say, ladies and gentlemen, I told you, I told you I've been on tour with everybody, but tonight, here, they out here for you, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Put your hands together for Dr. Dre and Eminem. <laughs> the music will come on, lights go down, 18,000 people losing their mind. Screaming, going I'm crazy. walking up the stage with the spotlight following me. The crowd is standing up for a good 30 seconds to a minute. Yeah. I come back out and say, psych. Oh, yeah. Yo, you got balls. So you got, I would have never pulled nothing. They would have booed the hell out of me. That's my point. And the crowd laughed yeah. and lost their mind. And I was doing it in every city, setting them up. Perfectly, but yo. you like you honestly. There's there's reads and then there's bravery. Like you're a brave comedian. I, I was watching the stand up and you were talking to a young lady and you asked her if she masturbated. And you said, right. See, that's why you fat because you don't play with yourself. Exactly. And I was like, yo, I was like, they are about to boo this man. This is about to go left. And they was laughing. They were laughing their ass off. Like and I was, I was crying. Like, right, I was like, right, this is right, great. right. I would have never pulled nothing like that. Right, right. I was like, this man got hurt. But you know, honestly, well, it's, thank you so much. For coming in today, TK, man, I really appreciate your time. Yo, and before, before I cut you off, yeah. make sure everybody, you check out the Abbey tomorrow night in um, Orlando, Florida. Yeah. It's going to be a great opportunity for people to come out, and especially all my fans. And to everybody that knows about stand-up, right. knows about hip-hop, please follow me on Instagram at um, TK underscore Kirkland. TK underscore TK Kirkland. Underscore I follow Kirkland. you already, too. Well, I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, you know, you be dropping some some real-life lessons on your Instagram, yes, too. Sir, yep. Are you on Snapchat by any chance? You know what? I started Snapchat today. Yeah. I fumbled with it a little bit. <laughs> I went right back off it. <laughs> yeah, so that's hopefully. how I was, too. I started my chat out. Like, yeah, I'm, I was like, I'm going to wait till I So I got to figure up. it out. <laughs> because you got to have quick thumbs. See, that's the <laughs> thing about the just generation. You got to be thumb strong. <laughs> you do. Your thumb game got to be serious. Your thumb here. game got to <laughs> and I have my thumbs are not as strong. <laughs> that's, that's understandable. Yeah, you gotta have your thumbs. You gotta have your thumb game up. But they really should invent is thumb exercise. That's what they should do. Yeah, you need to get your thumb yeah, I game. I stretch my thumbs in the morning. Before Man, I get on yeah, Snapchat. you got, you got to yeah, put a little weight on there. Yeah, you got to go little, hard. Yeah. <laughs> I was speaking of hip hop. Hold on, before you got uh, who favorite artist? A favorite artist of all time. My favorite artist of all time, and I was talking about this the other day, and this is going, this is going to upset a lot of people first. Mm. I was talking about how Jay-Z okay. is not a great rapper. Ooh. Yeah. Now okay, let me, you're how you talking about your yeah. boy? Yeah. Now, let me, now, let me explain to you what I mean uh, now, because uh, it, it, everything I say, there's logic behind it. Okay. And that's how come I tell people, I say four and four is eight every time you count it. Whether you write the four plus four or you put four ones plus four, <laughs> it's always going to equal eight. It's all good. So I'm into yeah, logic. Yeah. <laughs> Jay-Z is what you call a, a, a rapper that um, 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 promoted swag mm. and style. Mm. When you think of Jay-Z, you think of 
the fly female. Right. You think of the hat to the side. Yeah. You think of mink coats. You you just want to be in the room where yeah. he is. Yeah. But as a, a performer, mm. he was horrible. <laughs> as a performer. Right. That's why in entertainment it's called show business. Right. Show he was okay. Mm -hmm. Business he was phenomenal. Right. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I'm because saying. the greatest rapper ever mm -hmm. is DMX. Woo! What I tell you? What I tell you? MK, you got another one for the DMX. Let me tell class. you. I've been on tour with the man. Yeah. I've been on tour with NWA. Okay. I've been on tour. I've seen everybody. Right. DMX is the only one. That when he went on stage, captivated the audience by himself. Mm. No gimmicks, no women flipping, <laughs> no, 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 no explosions. It was just him from beginning to end. I seen it with my own. Now, everything I talk about, I seen it with my own eye. Right, right. It ain't like I heard it from somebody else. I seen I it with there. my own yeah. eye. That man is off the chain. But again, show business. business. He was great at show. Business side. Phenomenal. I mean, horrible in business. Right. We see that. Longevity, man. Yeah, horrible yeah. in business. Yeah. But on stage, my man, DMX was true. Just like um, Run DMC right. was the kings of a movement. Right. But N.W.A. was the truth. Yeah. And let me say to what I mean, because people will get upset about people that as gonna well. Be, people going to be heated. You don't see <laughs> nobody trying to be like Run DMC to this day. No. But everybody who claim whoever says they're a gangster rapper yeah. is a spinoff of N.W.A. Mm. From the Jay Z's to the Fifty Cents mm -hmm. to the Black Robs to all anybody that wear a hat to the side <laughs> to anybody they talk about getting money yeah. to any all that comes from N.W.A. So all right, last last question. Uh -huh. like I get this. All right, so Timbaland did an interview yesterday and he said Drake. Is like is the king of hip hop right now. Would right. You, would you agree with that? I would totally agree. So do, it, would you say that he's like a li like this this generation's I guess Jay Z or would he be this generation's DMX or a little bit of both? Drake is this generation's Frank Sinatra. Mm. Drake is a, this generation's um, a Marvin Gaye. Mm. He and let me explain to you why. His wordplay is phenomenal. Right. He's gonna be around forever. Mm. He can sing mm. and he can rap, yo. That's and and, 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 and and him having um, um, handsome looks don't hurt either. Yeah, yeah, like, you know yeah, what I'm a lot of women like it. Yeah, a lot of women like. Days. I don't yeah. know what his swag game is. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if he could pull a female <laughs> or he treats them right. And you talked about that too about guys that a lot of guys that are that have money or they're famous. Yeah. don't necessarily know how to get women. They don't know how to get women. Right, right. He's, 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 so this is, uh, I don't know his swag. Right. If I can, if I, if I had to look on the outside looking in, mm -hmm. I don't think he has that type of swag right, right. to pull a female. Okay. You, you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Because to be a player where I come from, you take care of women. Yeah. See, when you, when you say you got two or three girls, all three of them got Bentleys, <laughs> all three of them got a nice bag. <laughs> you can't have two girls in the penthouse and one girl in the project. <laughs> it don't work that way. Because your job is to teach and to put them on and let them go on about their way. Right. Right, but you you know, the, no disrespect to the Chris Browns, and they run through women. Right, and I'm upset with men that have not snatched up Amber Rose. Ooh. Do I got to come out of retirement <laughs> to show brothers how you take care of a woman? This woman shouldn't be going from camp to camp. Yeah, so you, but you don't think that's her fault though? No, 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 because there's no man to pull her to the side to tell her that she has great potential. Mm. See, men is what women need. You you cut them, you right. hold their hand, mm -hmm. and you get in their head. But what guys do, they smoke weed, mm -hmm. they blow the smoke in a girl face, uh, they get hypnotized, they take all that in, <laughs> and they get confused. That, you hey, know what I'm saying? You, you're not the, lying, the, the, the parents <laughs> don't put the girls on birth control, because right. you got to put your girls on birth control, because at the end of the day, women want to have sex. Right. They want to get their hair pulled. Right. They want to get, but they letting broke men <laughs> Um, um, get them pregnant, <laughs> and now it's you on the struggle. That's so now the, you, it's the epidemic of this the the epidemic. generation. It's of called broke modern men. day genocide. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it's called. I agree one thousand percent. Modern day genocide. <laughs> so if men can, uh, um, since men are really not going to strap up, let's keep it one hundred. <laughs> you got to put the girls on birth control because they're the most responsible. Out yeah, of the two. women are way more mature. more responsible. Yeah, way more responsible. Girls, yeah. you got to stop getting pregnant by these men. Work hard. Stack your paper, yeah. get your own stuff together, and and, and, and and do your due diligence 
when it comes to meeting men. And date. From 19 to 29, you should date everybody you want. So by the time you settle down, you exactly. know what good, exactly. you know everything is good. You know what good love making is. <laughs> you know what good uh, uh, a man being responsible is all about. Yeah. You want to go on trips like one of my jokes, and we're going to get out of here. One of my jokes is a woman, when she meets a guy, should never have sex with him. Until he takes her out of town. And I don't mean to the next city. <laughs> out of state. Out of state. Okay, out of state. Why? 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 Because you want to be able to go say that you went somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> These girls don't go nowhere, yo. They be in the city limits all Yeah, let me go to say <laughs> down where we going? We're going downtown we're Orlando. Downtown Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ruin what the residents in. <laughs> I got a bottle of Hennessy in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> we got the OG in the building, TK Kirk. Hey, we are following on Instagram again. What's your yeah, Instagram? Yeah, at TK underscore Kirk. Yo, follow me around the world because I know a lot of y'all don't travel a lot. But if you follow <laughs> me, you can see the world. All right, we at the Abbey downtown Orlando tomorrow night. Oh, uh, well, let's see. What time doors open, man? Uh, what time? 10 o'clock? 7 30. Doors open at 7 30. My bad. Doors now, let me ask you a question. Can we give away tickets? Yeah, we can give away tickets. Okay, how, how do you want to uh, set that up? What I probably do, we're going to do it. Let's do an Instagram post, and then what we're going to do is uh, we post it on the beat. Yes. Uh, and then we'll give away free. Actually, we'll post it on mine, and we'll share it on the beat. Okay, we'll, cool. We'll post it on yours, and then we'll share it on the beat. We'll give away free tickets to your show uh, tomorrow night. Okay, cool. Shout out to. Um, 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 Chess, and what's the name of your company, fam? Grand Slam. Grand, shout out to Chess and Grand, Grand Slam. Michigan and, in the building one Michigan time. And, what and up, Chess? And a, a phenomenal team of young businessmen coming up in the world. And I just really like to see how you young guys is just really doing your thing. And there's still hope out there in the world for your generation. I pray that it is. Man, because yo, y'all got y'all got serious problems. Some of us who paid attention to the game and some of us who just I don't, they were smoked out. I don't know something. Yeah, it's a know. problem out here, fam. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a problem. So you got, I'm going to do the best I can before God sent for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do what I can. <laughs> All right, no doubt. TK in the building, 104.5 The Beach, homie D. Royale. What up, though? Bad. Yo, thank you so much. Yo, thank you so much.